If you're shoveling out barbecues in a park that can reach triple-digit temperatures, you probably know something about heat. Just ask park maintenance worker Victor Dominguez. Sometimes it does get a little hot out there, high 90s into the hundreds. But he says crews at Hellyer Park and other sites in Santa Clara County have a strategic plan in place before work on hot days even begins, starting with tailgate safety meetings to cover everything from ensuring accessible supplies of drinking water to heat relief. Maybe we may take a sooner break or we'll even do majority of the hard labor task jobs more towards the beginning of the shift than the middle or end. And the detailed planning that Santa Clara County has in place is likely to become more critical over the next 30 years. The ABC News data team analyzed heat projections for the decade beginning in 2050. By that time, Santa Clara will experience more than 10 extra days above 90 degrees, jumping from 18 to 29. Other hot spots will spike as well. Contra Costa, from 27 days to 40 days. Napa, 29 days to 45. Solano County, 37 days to 54. And while most other Bay Area counties will also experience increases, experts say the most vulnerable locations have the highest percentage of people working outdoors. Dr. Cecilia Sorensen directs the Global Consortium on Climate and Health Education at Columbia University. So outdoor workers, agricultural workers, construction workers, and then we think about areas of the country where there's, you know, widespread environmental injustice issues um, related to neighborhoods. She's talking about factors like tree canopy, which can lower street temperatures dramatically. When ABC7 did an aerial survey for a previous report, we spotted stark differences in tree cover between higher and lower income neighborhoods across the Bay Area. Professor Vivek Shandas studies the disparity. And so what we now know across the country in all the cities we've studied is that those historically segregated neighborhoods are, have orders of magnitude less tree canopy than their uh, invested in and green-lined counterparts. Back in the South Bay, maintenance director Mike Will says expanding tree canopy is already a priority at Santa Clara County Parks. Our goal now is to step up our tree planting process so that 15 years from now we have decent shade trees for the public for when they come to our park they have a place to get out of the sun. It's all part of the critical planning with new strategies evolving along with the challenges from climate change. Spencer Christian, ABC7 News.